Hi there and welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. I know it's been a while since you've heard from me. Um, after doing the December daily prompts, daily challenge, um, I took a little break. I promised myself that in January I would spend the whole month working on some courses that I had signed up for last year and just never got around to doing. And I spent the money on them and I thought I'm just going to take a month away from my journals and do some watercolor. So I did that. <laughs> and um, before I, between the December dailies and the painting, I took about a week in January and I started purging some of my stuff in my studio. Um, and I got rid of some bulky stuff. But I didn't get into the nitty gritty of the papers and the books and the stacks and stacks of fabric and that kind of thing that I have in my studio. So what I thought I would do is first I'm going to show you what I was working on in January. I signed up for a couple of courses through um, Danielle Donaldson. And the first one I signed up for and I was following her on Instagram and she was posting these absolutely adorable pictures of these little aprons and she had a has a course called made with love and I signed up for it right away and then like I said I just never got around to it because I had to dig out all my watercolor stuff um, so I didn't manage to get around to it so this is um, the first course that I had signed up for and this is just the paperwork that you get to print out so I'm going to show you really briefly some of the um, watercolors that I've done um, so this was the first one and I, I do post a lot of my stuff on Instagram so if you do have an Instagram account you can follow me on Instagram and I do post what I'm working on on Instagram and it's just Darlene.McConaughey on Instagram um, so I posted all these on Instagram I'm just gonna move my tea out of the way here so this was the first apron Oops. And then I did this little colorful one. Not really too fond of the brighter, lighter colors. Don't know why. Um, and then I did this one. So I lean to more of the, what I call the warm earthy colors. And this indigo is one of my favorites and the fern green. So I kind of used a lot of those colors um, in there. And then this is another one, again, the earthy tones. This, I believe, is mahogany, is the color of the strap. So I had a lot of the, the earthy tones in there. And I am just learning um, to do watercolor again. I think I did watercolor when I was in high school, so that was a long time ago. Again, another bright, soft colored one. Um, I might give these to my granddaughters. And then this one, I just love the colors and, and these earthy tone ones. And then this was the last apron I've done so far. And then I just wanted to get through the course, do the aprons, and then move on to the second course. And these were done on really large pieces of paper. This is a quarter of a sheet of watercolor. So this is like a nine by 15 or something like that. So that was the first course it took. <clears throat> and then the second one was the Art Heroine. And it's little characters with, um, oops, I'm just trying to find it here little fuzzy hair um, <laughs> and this was a lot of fun so the very first thing she teaches us is trying to get us to make um, the hair and I did not have high flow acrylic paint what is what she used so I just used my watercolor paint actually this I think was a mixture of flow medium or something but so they're kind of shiny but this is what I started with um, and then we actually got to paint a character we did a little mermaid. I don't know if you're on screen, yeah. And that was the one that she showed us to do. And then I did another one, a little one, a little mini version. And then we practiced some more of the hair. And this is actually with the black watercolor. I just decided to use water and black watercolor. So then she taught us how to do face, the faces, the skin tones and the eyes. And that was the next step. So these were a lot of fun. Um, Maybe not my style, but I really enjoyed making the hair. I think I think it was a lot of fun. And then we started making characters. 
And <laughs> this little girl, I don't know why, but she reminds me of Pippi Longstocking. If anyone knows who Pippi Longstocking is, that's who she reminds me of. <laughs> so that was my first one. And then this was supposed to be a little girl, um, another little bumblebee pajama outfit. Um, I didn't, I didn't do the eyes that Danielle did in this. Hers are very round and look kind of like they're surprised and I like a little more subtle eyes. So that was the only thing I changed in hers. Um, and then the bumblebee girl with her little antennas. <laughs> um, and then this little girl. And again, I was trying to use different colored hair. I really liked her. I thought she was cute. <clears throat> and then these are the last two that I made just recently. I took a little break in between these. Um, to watch a couple of videos and then um, and then this was the last one Penny Penny with powers I think she is called but again I did the more subtle smaller eyes and anyway so that was the art heroine and then the last course that I signed up for was the down to earth workshop it's just a smaller course and she does mushrooms and a couple of the ladies were um, posting on Instagram some of their mushrooms. So I started that one um, just a couple of days ago and I've only gotten one painting done so far. <laughs> and that is the, we kind of play with mushrooms. They tell you to look at pictures of mushrooms and draw them more whimsically. And uh, I'm having a hard time with the whimsical part. So <clears throat> that's my first one. I'm working on the second one now. I'm just watching the videos. So that's kind of what I've been doing in January. I promised myself I would take a break and I would work on my watercolors. So what I've decided to do in, I don't want to give them up because I really enjoy them. I was having a really rough day the other day and I didn't really do too much. And I came in and I had one of the girls drawn out and it was just sitting there for like a day. And I thought, you know what, this is silly. And I just picked up my paintbrush and started painting her and I just felt so much better after painting her. So I thought I can't not, um, I can't take away the painting. I've got to do something that I, I want to do stuff that I enjoy. So, and I absolutely love playing with the papers and making the journals. And I haven't done that in a couple of weeks. I've been doing little bits and pieces here and there. So I thought I've got to figure out a way. So I just made up a really quick little spreadsheet and I'm going to mark on this, um, maybe two days a week that I just spend like a morning doing watercolor. So maybe Tuesdays and Thursdays or something like that where I'm gonna just spend the morning or the afternoon. I wanna give myself at least four to five hours of just doing watercolor. And then I'm gonna schedule in some other things cause I'm doing some business courses as well, trying to get my business going. So that I'm gonna actually schedule a couple things in here to force myself to do them because if I don't, I just kind of leave them sitting on the table and forget about them. So I just kind of wanted to let you know what I've been up to. I haven't forgotten about you. I have been planning. It's just after doing the December dailies for 31 days of doing the, the Christmas journal, I just needed to take a break and the watercolors was the perfect thing to take a break. And plus with all the COVID and everything kind of ramping up, um, it was really hard to stay positive, but I did and I really enjoyed the watercolor course. So that's kind of what I've been up to. Um, I am, I have decided that I'm going to work on the 100 day project from Instagram. And I'm gonna bring this closer because it's really, really, really tiny. The 100 day project.org. Um, and the hashtag is just the 100 day project. And I'm gonna be following it on, I'm gonna be doing it on Instagram and it starts on January 31st and it is 100 days of doing something. And I have decided that because I have to purge a lot of my stash, I am going to work on um, building my ephemera stash. And what I mean by that is, I mean I'm gonna be pulling out a lot of my papers, a lot of my books, a lot of my envelopes. I've got piles and piles of stuff, some of my fabrics, and I'm just going to be working on getting rid of some of the pages that I don't need or trying to figure out how to use those pages that I'm not using um, and just kind of build my ephemera. And then while I'm doing that, I come up with ideas to make journals. So I've got a couple of journals sitting here that I'm gonna be working on. Um, these are just soft cover journals. 
that I was creating and I thought these would be good. I'm going to make myself a little reference journal. So while I'm doing the project and I make something each day, I'm going to put it inside the journal. So I'm going to create one of these as my ref or one or two of these as my reference journals. So for example, I was working on these little mini envelopes out of some book pages that I had. And once I do that, <clears throat> excuse me, I will just take one of these and put it in my reference journal and make little notes on the sizes and how I did them. Um, because I'm doing the 100 day project and I have to do 100 projects or work on 100 things, I thought this would be a good way to kind of keep track of it and reference it. So I will be creating a journal and I will start working on um, the little projects and I will be posting them on Instagram. And if I'm working on a larger project, I might even turn my video camera on and actually work on the project and create a video. So if I'm making up a whole bunch of labels out of all of my scraps, I'll just turn the camera on and work on it and show you what I'm doing. So that's kind of what's coming up for February. So I just wanted to touch base, say hello, say I haven't disappeared. I'm still here working on a few things. Um, I hope you're staying safe and keeping creative and we'll hope to see you real soon. Bye for now.